It's that time. Waking the fuck up with coffee. Well, I'm back and I know I haven't done one of these in a while because we've been busy with our podcast. The Caffeinated Couple. So I'd like to thank all those that have been watching it and listening to it because it's a podcast and sometimes a video. And for those that haven't subscribed yet or haven't watched it, wake the fuck up and go over and watch it. So waking the fuck up over coffee, over the controversy of a poppy. Hmm. So Yes, it's been flying around social media and I talked about this in a podcast the other day and for some reason I'm still stuck on it because it keeps playing on my mind. Now, as many of you know, the story is quick that a guy named Don Cherry on Hockey Night in Canada or Coach's Corner, he did a rant about the poppy and basically his rant was that people are not wearing the poppy and he directed his comments indirectly he didn't come out and say immigrants but he directed it to people that have come to this country and are benefiting for the way from the way of life in canada well as many of you probably know i am an immigrant myself that's right i came from england so i am an immigrant so I have a few views on this. Now, Don Cherry, I used to listen to Don Cherry. I used to love Hockey Night in Canada and all that, all those shows, Coaches Corner, Christ. I go back to Peter Puck, for God's sakes. Now, Don Cherry's an 85-year-old man, an 85-year-old white Canadian man. Now, I know a lot of guys like him in this country, and there are a lot that are very kind-hearted people. Super nice, very helpful, but there is a racial side to these people because these people have grown up in a country that has been mostly white. And a lot of people have trouble with change. And Don Cherry, unfortunately, being 85 years old, he's not going to be changing his ways. And he hasn't changed his ways. Now, do I blame Don Cherry for saying what he said? Well, he shouldn't have said it. But I can understand how this guy's thinking because how he was brought up. And the life he's lived. And that's how he thinks. So who's to blame here? Who do I blame for this? Well, I think who needs to wake the fuck up. It's Sportsnet. Because Sportsnet put him on. And everybody knows that Don Cherry has a history of saying stuff like this. He shot his mouth off about women in the past. And, you know, Russians, hockey players, the Czechs, the Swedes. He never liked the Swedes. So we knew what he was like. But they stuck him in there anyways. It's like, oh, we know it's going to go off again. But when, I don't know. But let's hire him and give him a job. Well, I think they screwed up. So now they've gone and fired him. So what's really alarming to me, though, is the fact that so many people have come to his defense. And they're kind of viewing the same opinion as him. And it's got racial. And it blows my fucking mind that people in this country think like that. And we're not talking about the old people now. We're talking about young people. The thing that plays into this is culture. The Canadian culture and even the British culture embraces the wearing of the poppy. And Remembrance Day. Now... The thing that rattles my chain about Remembrance Day is that it's not a national holiday. Oh, the governments get it off in the banks. But I was going off to work. It wasn't a holiday for me. Why not if it's such an important day? Why aren't we having a holiday to remember? It's it's ridiculous. So is it not that important? Only the banks get a day off? Only the government gets a day off? Why are they any different than us? That's what's wrong with society right there. Privilege. I guess they wrote the script. But you know, like I said about culture, culture 
is something that we see across the world that's different wherever you go. People come to this country with different cultures. And everyone says, oh, these people should learn to adjust and be like Canadian. Well, it doesn't work like that. Not with culture. Culture is something that's in you. You've grown up with. It's who you are. You don't change that. It's not easy. Sure, the next generation, you have kids. And they're going to grow up with the Canadian culture. But if you come from a faraway country, your culture is going to be completely different. Your religion is going to be completely different. You're going to come to Canada. You're going to be all alone. Some people don't even speak English. So when they get here, they find other people that have the same culture and speak the same language and then they can get together and create a community. Now people think they're segregating from everybody else, but they're not. They want to be a part of Canada, but it's very hard for them. You come from, Can you come from China, let's say, and you don't speak English. What are you going to do? If you find out someone down the street speaks Chinese or there's a club down the street that's Chinese, you're going to go. Because you're going to get what you want. You're going to get that community feeling. And that's what culture is. So some of these people come from these countries and they, they don't know what the poppy thing is. So you expect to educate them on that? It's something you grew up with. That's why you wear a poppy. Your mom bought you a poppy. Your dad bought you a poppy. Your grandpa maybe bought you a poppy. That's how you understood it. And that's why you still carry on the tradition. Same reason you put up a freaking Christmas tree. Because you did it for all your life. That's why you put it up. You either put it up because you're a Christian or you think it looks nice. So don't expect a Muslim to put up a Christmas tree. And because he doesn't put up a Christmas tree, doesn't mean he doesn't dis dislike your your culture. It just, it's not his. And he's learning. You know what? Maybe in five or ten years he will put up a tree because he's got to learn the culture. So before you go on your freaking Facebook rants about, oh, fucking Don Cherry is so great and the way he thinks is so great, stop and think what you're saying. Put some thought into it. And don't be an idiot. You know, Canada has this underbelly of racial tone. And I don't like it. You see it. You go read the posts. Go read the Facebook post. The way that people are commenting is disgusting. Well, there's my two cents. And I did buy a poppy this year. And I lost it. I lost it actually on Remembrance Day, believe it or not. I never had it for 11 o'clock. But you know, it doesn't matter. For me, it's with me all the time. I'm from England. My family lived in the bombings. They lived in London. My nan used to wear a gas mask up to the store to buy the daily food and she carried the gas mask because in case the sirens went off, she'd have to put it on. And when there was a warning, the sirens would go off. They would put the kids under the dining room table. So you know what? It's not about wearing a poppy. It's about remembering. And we remember. And there's people out there that probably don't have any connection to it at all. So, you, you know, I can understand. But you know what? There's a lot of things I didn't understand in the past about certain things. And now I do. You learn. And we support each other and we learn together. And that's the key here. That's how you build a community. You help people and you support people. You don't go on Facebook and fucking rant. So wake the fuck up and understand what's going on. Cheers.